Good evening everybody and thank you for watching. If you're watching this video, I do apologize because you're unfortunately watching it for the wrong reasons. We're experiencing a 100% disk issue and it sucks. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix it. Finally, I think I have found the cure-all, end-all, fix-all to this problem. If you're like me, you've been struggling for a while now with it, we're going to go ahead and solve it. Uh, I've been banging my head against the desk and we have finally figured it out so bear with me I'm gonna try to be quick and try to move through this and get you guys solved and moving along with enjoying your PC the way it's supposed to be so starting off from the beginning my computer was running very slow I then started monitoring how my computer was running view my control alt delete and then viewing my processes you could see my disk space was at a hundred percent my performance you know at a hundred percent just terrible uh, I could barely play any video games I could barely browse the web I could barely listen to music it was just it's not what I spent all my money on my computer for anyways moving along quickly as you can see you start I started off looking at hundred percent disk usage none of this worked yeah better look next time I went to videos I searched all the videos I watched all on here none of them had anything to do with this um, I, I continued looking I read through forum after forum after forum reading 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 everyone talking about different things and nothing worked if you're watching this video you probably did something along the same lines so here we are sitting here today this is what I was able to figure out is when I was searching through here someone told me to look at my resource monitor and so when I would go to my resource monitor and I would open this up I would view my disk which is running so this is like a more advanced control alt delete and in here I could then see what was reading and writing in my total and there was a whole bunch of stuff going on I mean a whole bunch of stuff and if I click the total right here to view the smallest to largest, but I wanted to view the largest to smallest. My largest one was just astronomical. And what it said was, I have it here in front of me, was it said WPR initiated Diag Track AIG Logger WPR System Collector. What in the world? At first I thought, oh my god, I see the words logger, I see the words system collector. I was like, wow, okay, I'm being hacked right now. My computer is dead. No, that's not the case. <clears throat> not at all. So here's what we ended up doing. If you go ahead and do control alt delete and then go to over to your services, once you can go control alt delete and go over to your services, and then once you're in your services, um, categorize your names by, you know, alphabetical order. So you start with A go down and find diag track which is in your D's and it's gonna be diag track right here diag track okay right here we wanna right click on that and we wanna stop that and as soon as you hit stop you're gonna notice that your computer like takes a deep breath your computer takes a big deep breath it slows down the fans will kind of kick off a little bit and slow down and relax and stop working so hard um, <clears throat> once you've stopped that it's gonna take a minute for it to kind of reconfigure itself and get adjusted to what's going on so if you head over to like your performance you're notice right now you're probably looking at still like 99% way up high 100% if you just wait a moment give it a few seconds it should slowly start to drop down kind of it might spike up a little bit and then drop back down um, but it should begin to slowly level down and drop back down this is not the cure-all fix if this worked for you we are on the right track and by the end of this video you're gonna be looking at what I'm looking at right now with a healthy disk rate you know back down in the low percentiles okay so let's keep moving um, from this point now that you have now that you have stopped diag track what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna go ahead and find it and we're gonna and we're gonna turn it off okay and this is what this is what kept confusing me because if you go to stop it and then you go restart your computer next time you restart your computer it's still going to be on 
what is the root cause of all this? I don't know, but let's keep moving. So here's what we're gonna do. Down in Cortana is what I use. If you have another way of launching this, let's go ahead and launch it. But I go services.msc, okay? And this is gonna pull up our services, right? Give that a second to launch, here we are, okay? Now here in our services, at first, I came in here looking for Diag Track, and there was there's no Diag Track. There's distribution link tracking. No, not there. But there's no Diag Track. But if you look over here, it says Connected User Experiences and telem Telemetry. So start looking for, in the C's for Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Right here, I'll put this right on it. Right there connected user or your diag track connected user experiences stopped so we're gonna go ahead and right click on that guy right and move that over we're gonna right click on that guy and we're gonna go to properties and we're gonna disable that guy apply press ok stop it if it's not already stopped press ok close that out close that close check go back to your task manager start taking a look here you should notice significant changes in your disk speed okay and now that we just now that we just turned it off you should be good to go ahead and reboot your computer and on fresh reboot you will notice you know possibly high disk rate you know uh, on be initial startup but once you give your minute uh, your computer a minute to load all the back load everything up um, once your computer finally settles down you should notice that your computer is idling um, back down at you know a healthy heart rate so I hope this helped I hope this was able to get you guys where to go and um, if this did help make sure you click that like button and I hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year take care